This is going to be an analysis of my 20th and 21st crit races. This was back in Tameside, uh, east side of Manchester, on the ch on Tuesday this week. Um, like I said, did two races back to back uh, as per usual. So it was the it was a cat two, three, four, and then that was immediately followed by uh, by the three, four race. So uh, see how and managed to get a top ten in both of them. Uh, it was quite reduced fields on the day, but uh, yeah, still still a solid result. Um, so yeah, starting out with the two, three, four, it was relatively small field like i said um just above 10 riders really um and only 11 finishing finishing the race so uh yeah easy points at the end of the day uh but yeah still had to uh, still up against cat threes and cat twos so uh still needed to uh, ride sensibly and uh and and stay staying in contention to uh to be able to get that top 10 really um so yeah i was actually pretty happy with how i raced it um yes yeah, stayed in even though it was a reduced pack i stayed with that pack the whole time didn't get dropped at all uh, which is good because that's happened a uh, few to, few to, few times before uh yeah stayed with them the whole time and uh, uh felt like i was i was able to work well as in not not expending excessive amounts of energy to uh, to keep myself up there and keeping contention and keep on top of what was going on um yeah rotating between being mid mid pack back of the pack uh, and then also doing some work on the front but um it kind of changed my changed my my tact here um understanding the circuit now like with it being so short you you, you there, there is the slight possibility of sending an attack off the front and getting away but it it it, it feels so unlikely that it's it's not worth the energy really um so there'd be a couple of times where i'd kind of maybe launch a little bit of an uh, make, make a bit of an attack to hit the front just not not really committing to it fully because uh, i know how easy it is for them to chase it back so uh, if i could tell that they're on my heels again i'd uh, i wouldn't sit up but um definitely ease off the gas rather than committing to a move that just wasn't happening um so i yeah I, I found myself rotated near the front uh, a little bit and so this is actually the tracking from the race um, so there was, there was a couple of sections where I just found myself near the front and I was, I mean, I wasn't keeping it, I wasn't just sitting up really, but I was keeping it going on the front and um, not expending much energy because I knew I wasn't able to drop the guys behind. Like I'm still making them work out the hairpins, uh, but uh, not not just not trying to drop them because just I know it's, it's, it's so unlikely to be able to happen. I just stayed in contention, uh, saved my energy, didn't burn my matches to an extent, I'd say. Um, and yeah, heart rate. I mean, you're working hard in these crits. Two, three foot, three forty four, three seventy two normalized. Um, but yeah, felt relatively under control. And uh, maybe the 20, 20 hour weeks are are paying off. And that you get that weird fitness where you're like training so much, but then you you just you 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 you'd think your legs would be heavy, but no, they 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 felt amazing. And uh, yeah, felt really good on the day. Um, and yeah, looking looking back at it, um, like I said, I I. I was I was at the front a little bit. Um, there was there was one sketchy moment where I was I was leading through the hairpin. Guy came up the inside and uh, ended up crashing out. And two of us had to quickly avoid uh, going into him. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was it was, it was pretty tame. Um, and yeah, hit the hit the hit the front with a couple of laps to go. Um, so led it out for the the last three lap front with with three laps to go uh, according to the split timers. Um, but yeah, was 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 working on the front, but not going absolutely balls to the wall. So like last four minutes at four twelve average, like work it mainly just working hard, working the guys behind hard out the corners, um, to 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 try making making them work basically, um, and yeah, just try to keep the speed fast. Um, I mean, to keep so see, I guess this lap slowed up, and that's when I when I decided the guys were setting up, and we'd be, we'd been going we'd been going fast. Uh, sat up a little bit and then uh, kept the speed high on the front um and i know yeah keep it, keeping the speed high on the front so the guys aren't able to come around me um that was that's the plan at least um so yeah coming into this and then coming into this last lap it's like okay it's go time this is uh, where i really need to hold on so last last 30 seconds at uh, at 500 watts with with 1000 watt spikes out the corners um so yeah held held the guys off till the hairpin yeah held the guys off on the final lap so made it to the hairpin clean uh and, and got through that and then it was only coming into this final corner that uh got swarmed a little bit and the guys all came around me really um 
So yeah, uh, it, again, if I just if I just kept the speed a little bit higher coming into that corner, people wouldn't have been able to do that. Um, but yeah, but was 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 approaching being on the limit here. So yeah, it's not surprising that I was struggling. Um, but yeah, it can work, I guess, um, on this circuit. I've said that so many times before, but um, I wasn't being stupid with it. I wasn't leading it out with five, six laps to go and and keeping it hard for that whole time. It was it was the last three laps and. 412 for 412 for four minutes like it's yes it's 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 decently high power but it's not not crazy and it's only this last lap where i really went balls to the wall um and just wasn't wasn't strong enough on the day to hold or hold off the boys um so yeah decent decent sprint finish but uh the guys have come around me and got better positioning so um only uh came in for sixth on the day which was decent uh best result in the 234 so far obviously very reduced field but um yeah happy with that um and like i wasn't slouching on that last lap like it was a it was a fast it was my fastest last fastest lap and um uh, the guy who won was only about a second quicker on that final lap and um so going into that final lap i was in first place but uh just had a little bit he had a little bit more speed on that final lap um to come around me so uh one and a half seconds quicker on the uh over the course of the lap uh just to come around in the finish really um so yeah, making progress, and uh, uh, yeah, if I, if I'm going to hit the front, uh, this is this is a, a better way to do it. Uh, hitting the front with free to go, but not going, keeping it fast, but not going balls to the wall. Uh, saving it for that last lap to try and try and dig everything onto that last lap, rather than rather than waiting for a sprint finish. So um, this is a way to do it. Um, didn't work out on the day, but uh, yeah, I did trust myself to go later, which is uh, a, a, a good improvement, really. Um, also after after Alfonso crashed out on the on the hairpin, the next the very next lap, I'd I noticed there was like this rock slash pebble on the on the hairpin. I'm like, oh my god! So I was I was making sure I was going wide on the hairpin every lap to avoid avoid touching that. Uh, and then when I finished, I I made sure to get to the hairpin and uh, get rid of that pebble, uh, and also let the organizer know. And he he Alistair swept the swept the hairpin for us like. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a decent result in the two in the two three four, and then uh, moving on to the three four, slightly bigger field, um, but yeah, still still a, a reduced field on the day. So like fifteen riders, um, fourteen riders, whatever. Um, but the thing is, going into this race, I actually felt good. Uh, the the week before doing doubling up, I I felt absolutely knackered going into the second race. Uh, but this race, I'd, I'd, I I don't know if it was the training, the the twenty hour weeks, but yeah, I felt confident. Um, and rather than having to sit at the back to conserve energy, I was I was happy to take it up on the front and not 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 expecting to drop guys and uh, and get a breakaway going, but just making sure they were working hard really. And I was getting separation because of the uh, the the it being a weaker field. Uh, me me driving it out the hairpin meant I was able to get separation. I was able to get separation out of this corner here by by getting on the gas because I'm used to smacking a thousand watts every lap to to keep up with the two three four boys. Um, so I'm able to keep doing that and and at least I'm making the guys work hard behind me. Um, but I'm not I'm not really trying to uh, get a break established because I know it's it's so unlikely to work on this circuit really. Um, so yeah, spent spent a. Uh, the first probably half near the front, uh, working them hard. Started off near the back, then hitting the front for, for front for a few laps and uh, and keeping the pace honest on the front, um, and then then slotted back in again to to conserve a bit of energy. And like I say, I was I was trying to trust my trust myself to go late. Um, the plan plan my my plan being so worked hard worked them hard for the first half. Felt good. Heart rate was. Heart rate was up, but then I I got it calmed down. Look at that, down to 150s. Uh, that's really really positive. Um, and then I'm like, okay, how am I go- how am I going to win this race? Um, so I wanted to go later. Um, my plan was okay, one and a half, two laps to go. I'll hit the front. I I, I don't. I could I could let it come down to a sprint finish, but um, I've I've not been in that situation before, so I didn't. Didn't didn't want to didn't want to leave it to that. I'm happy to drill it for uh, one lap, two laps. Um, so I'm like, okay, one and a half, two laps to go. I'll try and hit the front. Uh, but coming into three laps to go, the field sat up, and when when you get an opportunity, you kind of have to just 
take it. Um, I, I, if I didn't take that opportunity, I might have been regretting it. Oh, I had this had this perfect opportunity to attack them, uh, so I just went for it. And I'm assuming it was this this spike here. So this is the last three laps. So hit the front, and yeah, about the same. Four, so four minutes. At, uh, we're actually working harder than <laughs> probably. So both races did the last three laps on the front, uh, but working harder in this race because it was like um, I'd, I'd saved a lot more energy during the course of the race. So if we look at it, um, the so 318 average, 340 normalized compared to 340, 372. So yeah, it saved a saved a lot more energy. Um, so it's not surprising I had had something left for uh, for these final few laps. Hit the front, keeping it hard, but understanding that it's unlikely that I'm going to get separation. Um, I'm not just going solo here. So uh, just doing what I'd done at the start of the race, just working them hard out the hairpins. Um, getting on the gas like I can do to to spike it to a thousand watts every time, not expecting the 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 field to crumble behind me. Um, so yeah, was was still leading going into going into that final lap and uh, got to the hairpin in first. Uh, got through the chicane in first and same same position that the guys came around me on the two three four. Um, just coming up to this final corner, one guy came up my inside um, and I, I dug as soon as he came round. Um, I actually dug in, felt like I was able to get back on his wheel a little bit. Uh, so maybe he came around here um, and I dug back in a little bit to get back on his wheel. Uh, he, he had a gap, but I, uh, I I was confident that I'd be able to close, close him down by the finish and out-sprint him. Uh, but f coming through this corner, uh, a second rider came up my inside and, uh, in my opinion, took a bit, <laughs> took a bit of a dodgy line and uh, uh, ran a bit wide and it definitely spooked me. Uh, and so I ran wide on that final corner and, yeah, lost lost a lot of speed through that, that, that final corner. Um, but, yeah, came out the corner and then uh, still able to get on the gas, like, Despite, despite working hard, I'm still able to get on the gas again. Uh, thousand watts out the corner, uh, take the take the mini corner, and then uh, back on the gas to the finish um, to 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 retain that uh, third position that I was in. Um, I feel like if that guy hadn't come up my inside uh, and spooked me, I would have been able to get close to the wheel of uh, the guy who just come past me and then come around him at the finish and and end up getting the win on the day. But uh, that's not what happened, and uh, uh, I'd, I'd I'd rather react in that way, uh, react in in a way that preserves my safety rather than just ah oh, fuck it, this is my line, fuck off, and uh, causing an incident. So yeah, I'm not I'm not disappointed with how I raced it, and uh, yes, hitting the lap with hitting the front with three laps to go, it's like yeah, was it a bit early? Maybe, but I had that opportunity to attack, and I just went for it. Um, so. Yeah, and I like I said, I didn't, I wasn't going full gas on the front. I wasn't, I wasn't. It wasn't just a pure VO two max effort. It was, it was somewhat controlled. And then going into the final lap, I'm like, okay, this is where I need to keep the speed high. And and I feel like that's what I did. So, uh, came away with a, a third, another third place, and uh, and seven points. So yeah, can't complain really. This is an analysis of my twenty second crit race. Uh, this being back at Harvey Haddon in uh, in Nottingham on on the Wednesday this week. Um, so yeah, um, we don't unfortunately had a little bit of little bit of uh, rain in the UK. I know, surprising that it was. It turned out abs weather held out absolutely fine on the day. It was it was it was all right when we got there and just overcast and uh, still relatively warm, um, above ten degrees. Um, but it had been raining earlier in the day, so the course was slick. Um, and and because of that, uh, so during during the warm up, in fact, two guys. So we've got a uh, on this circuit. Uh, we've got this hairpin here, uh, yeah, this hairpin here, and during during the warm up, in fact, uh, two guys crashed out on the hairpin. Um, so that just showed that even when even when you'd think people were taking no risks, uh, just just getting getting you warming up on the course, um, yeah, crashing out. So uh, it wasn't the best conditions on the day, but uh, thankfully we got underway and uh, the peloton, big peloton, um, big palace, big field shows up here. Um, close to 40 riders um, and yeah everyone was being felt like everyone was being sensible on the day and 
uh, not taking ridiculous risks like you'd you'd see see the odd odd rear wheel skid out um <laughs> and the guy might manage to set would manage to save it but uh, generally it was it, it was all all right like grit and stuff on the course getting getting spat up but um yeah it, 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 it was okay generally still trying to find the balance of of how i how i want to race these um and today i'd, I'd start on the back row so um that kind of defined how i uh how i had to start the race had to had to just move i decided to um just move up gradually uh, and i was just making sure i was covering uh the moves from the main peloton so as soon as a split was occurring um and i had the potential to be dropped uh i'd i'd, I'd make that surge to to get across to the main group and uh, guys are getting dropped left and right uh, but i made sure i maintained contact with the front group um i was able to do that well um but at the back nearer nearer the back um so if moves were going off the front then it would be harder to spot that and uh, and react to it. Uh, however, I was pretty confident, despite the lap try, I know I'd made this mistake, mistake the previous week where I missed uh, splits that were happening off the front, uh, breakaways that are happening off the front. Uh, but this week I was pretty confident I could, I was assessing what was going on and no breaks were actually going clear, um, despite being at, near the back of the peloton. Uh, but this peloton had been reduced to maybe 20 riders by this stage. Um so yeah, I got halfway into this 40 minute crit and uh, uh, and that's when I started moving up and uh, getting better positioned near the front to, to be able to react to those moves uh, that were happening and uh, coming up to the prime. So there was a prime lap with uh, five laps to go, I believe. Um, I was in about fifth wheel and there were some guys contesting the prime. I had the ability to contest the prime, but um, I, I wasn't too concerned. So uh, I'd, I'd rather hold on, for, um, save my energy, save any energy for the finish really. Um, but I could see a couple of guys contesting the prime and allowing that to form a breakaway. And because no one really wanted to work on the front, uh, there was two. Guys, one of the guys got a bit annoyed. Uh, this guy flicking his doing a doing a ten second turn on the front, then flicking his elbow, and the other guy was like, "Fuck off, man! Just do it. Do an actual turn." Um, <laughs> I was I was just like. I was I was just locked in, just what what whatever, man. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'd hit the front, I'd hit the front, and just when I hit the front, I'd just keep it steady for me, like riding tempo, just uh, not not burning any matches at all. Um, and I was actually happy to try and let these guys off the leash, let this breakaway get established, because it was it uh, it was actually just one rider up the road, um, and my plan was. Uh, because I know I can actually get separation on this course, uh, so I, 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 uh, you can sprint out this hairpin up the hill, and then you've got this big long straight away to to get separation. Unlike at Tameside, where it's impossible, almost impossible to get separation. It feels uh, here I know and I have been able to get separation uh, today and in the past. Uh, so my plan was to let this guy get. 15 20, 30, 15, 20 seconds up the road and then maybe solo bridge to him and work with him into the finish and uh, maybe maybe attack him on the final lap or something like that. Um, but I like the idea of having a guy strong, having a guy up front that I could bridge to. Um, and and I knew the peloton wasn't motivated to work because um, I was I was being put on the front and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll keep the speed relatively high, but I wasn't I wasn't burning my matches for sure. Um, so yeah, I was I was I was quite confident going into uh, the last few laps of um, I, I was I, I probably would have attacked the next lap or maybe the lap after. We were on the third last lap, uh, and unfortunately, uh, because of the the slick surface and uh, I guess a nervous peloton, I was I was at the front of the peloton right here. Um, but yeah, heard heard a crash behind me, um, and then the race got red flagged, got neutralised, um, and they decided and thankfully the guys were all right uh just some bad road rash i guess um but obviously it's never fun um so glad they're okay uh but because they would have been restart if they restarted the race it would have been two laps to go um a two lap to go restart from from standing in non-ideal conditions would have been uh very sketchy to say the least so uh they just decided to cancel the race from there which was um a bit disappointing because obviously I felt like I was. Uh, obviously, I just hoped that ideally the crash just didn't happen and uh, the race would have played out how it played out. Uh, and I was pretty confident to uh, try try something new, really um, attack, but attacking to bridge to to the guy out in front so that I can try and beat him. 
Um, and I was, I was, I was, I was sure the peloton behind wasn't. They, they'd probably work, but they weren't working hard enough on the. They weren't motivated enough on the day that uh, that sort of move could work. Um, but unfortunately, we weren't able to finish the race. So, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that sort of that sort of riding was. Uh, I, I feel like that that was that was good riding from me at the end of the day. Uh, not working as hard as I need as I normally do. So three twenty two average, three seventy normalized. Like it's not crazy. Um, and like I said, I was I was being put on the front, um, but I wasn't doing so near the end. Maybe these last twelve minutes, I was spending a fair amount of time on the front. Uh, but yeah, not not going crazy with it, um, and and conserving my energy and feeling nice and under control. And uh, yeah, the heart rate was uh, most under under control. My heart rate's ever been like one fifty eight average. Like phew, that's really good for me. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I was I was I was I was quietly confident during this race, but unfortunately, uh, so, uh, the crash meant that it was it, it was it was cancelled. But uh, yeah, we'll be back again next week and uh, and see if I can get myself in a similar sort of situation and uh, uh, yeah, try and try and take home the dub. So this is going to be an analysis of my twenty third race, which was uh, a crit race back at Darlymore. I hadn't been at Darlymore in a while. Um, back there um, and kind of a. A, a tale of uh, of multiple parts so uh, it was a, an hour long race cap 3 4 and started off uh, relatively normal like uh, quite on the gas uh, and then it calmed down a lot speed kept relatively high uh, but yeah definitely calmed down a lot uh, and picked up a bit in the middle calmed down a lot again uh, and then at the end made a big dig to uh, to try and win the thing so really big dig at the end there so uh, yeah having a look at it so like I say started off started off pretty hard so um yeah, but not nothing nothing too crazy. So like three twenty average, three eighty normalized is the is the key thing. Really really big sprints out the corners, like uh getting digging in some big watts to uh, s try and snap on the wheel as soon as possible and you see average speed close to forty eight forty four K an hour, so uh pretty high, but uh relatively relatively under control. Definitely picked up definitely picked up here. Um as the heart rate's starting to creep up into the one seventies and uh, definitely working harder so like look at that average like 400 average for a couple of minutes so definitely not easy and then just just calm down again I, I, I know I was trying to make some moves early on uh, started off by uh, positioning myself relatively close to the front um, and trying to uh, get something established um, but that was it was a, it was a big field on the day 44 riders I think so uh, and and guys motivated to bring it back so uh, any time a move would go it would it would quickly get reeled back in as uh, there's no real strong moves going um, so yeah kind of uh, gave up trying to uh, get anything going if you're going to get away it's going to have to be at an opportune moment when uh, when and when the guys aren't. Uh, when the guys aren't working well together did calm down a lot after that though so look at this section it's 10 minutes at 276 average so uh yeah you're working hard out the corners like 340 340 normalized but like the average power is well down and uh yeah definitely some time to recover there and um, speed still being kept relatively high though um and then again so then picked up and then again calmed down here so uh this section is averaged for 20 almost 20 minutes 253 average which was uh i was i was sat right and heart rate nice and nice and under control obviously i've still spike it to sprint out the out of co some, some corners to keep on the wheel but um yeah relatively under as as under control as you're going to get in a crit really and i was like i guess the speed was still high but when when i was riding i'm like what are we doing here we're i'm coasting all the time um and I was thinking, what, what, what is this race? And I was just sat at the back, like thinking about what to do next to uh, try and get something established. Um, yeah, like I say, it did pick up again. It wasn't just easy; like it did put, pick up again a lot in the middle. So uh, if, speed picking up, attacks rolling off the front constantly. Uh, so sprinting hard, max power hit during during this section here, and three thirty average, three eighty normalized. So yeah, we weren't we weren't slacking, but um it did calm down a lot after that uh which is when it gets to the final effort so um it was an hour long race and uh no attacks had been had, had, had gone really um and i'm like okay how am i how am i going to try and win this thing um and there's a good chance that we had a headwind coming in the westerly direction so this straight away here 
going up to the hairpin. Uh, we were going into a headwind, and it felt like on, on a lap where someone would attack, they'd they'd hop on their people. Everyone would hop on their wheel, and it would uh, it would be quite fast and ferocious. Uh, whereas uh, other laps, we'd just be sat up in the wind, um, not not doing any work down this straight. So I'm like, okay, there's a there's a fifty fifty chance whether the guys are going to sit up here or not. Um, I'm going to take those odds. Pretty sure we'd attacked coming going through this hairpin. Nope. <laughs> So yeah, we'd been pretty chill coming up to coming up to this lap, but uh, I'd, I'd already decided that uh, I think this was three laps to go, um, so I was just going to launch it. So even though we hadn't been on the gas for a while, um, I still just went for it and went for a big attack. Uh, so yeah, launched it into this into this headwind section and uh, got my speed differential. So yeah, wound it up, big sprint, um, big speed differential. Again, it was 50k an hour, uh, and I was able to get separation here, which is really good. Uh, kept on the gas so i got through this hairpin and i could look behind and i could see that i had like 100 150 meters on the peloton which was uh really promising and i'm like okay let's go so then kept it rolling uh into about here uh this is so just by myself off the front here four minutes at 4 14 uh but then a uh, guy a couple of guys i saw in my peripheral and they'd they'd caught up to me so uh kept then kept working with them to the line um, and we, we did manage to stay away. The peloton was closing on us, but uh, yeah, we managed to work hard to the line. Um, and I was trying to, trying to pull turns on the front. Uh, obviously, was was working hard. Nine minutes at four twenty average, three three four thirty normalized. So um, yeah, definitely working hard. Uh, heart rate was uh, was redlined for sure. Getting one eighties, pretty much stick in there. Um, and yeah, tried tried something in the in the sprint finish. So coming out of this corner, getting back on the gas to come back up to speed um maintaining speed but uh i i came into that came into that final corner in fourth position um if if the guy one of the guys in the break was sh was shouting at us constantly to keep working but um i was working as hard as i could um, and i probably if i if i had more energy i probably wouldn't have ended up leading it out uh, but i was actually in really good position for the sprint because i was so tired um so i was in like fourth wheel um but yeah, didn't didn't really have anything left for the sprint, so uh, didn't come round anyone and uh, ended up in fourth position. But um, yeah, good it, good good to good to have a be in a break that survived uh, to the line. That was definitely interesting, and uh, I think my attack was pretty much like the only dis decisive attack during the race. To be honest, um, I mean it was relatively as as a race goes, it was relatively calm, three hundred eight not uh, average, uh, three seventy normalized like. No, the normalized is high obviously um but yeah there was no there was there was attacks going but no no one was getting separation no break was getting established uh just because there was a big field of motivated riders so they were just hopping on the wheel immediately after um so my attack off the front was pretty much the only one that was able to get a good amount of separation um and then it was the guys who counter attacked to uh to bridge to me that uh end up forming the breakaway that went to the line so uh yeah this is definitely the sort of circuit where you can you can get a break to go because um, you've got this big big section to a big long straights to attack and uh, put the power down to try and try and get that separation. Whereas if 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 that corner came a lot earlier, there's a good chance that uh, you'd get reeled back in. But uh, yeah, uh, decently happy with how I raced it. If we'd if we'd sat up in the breakaway and started playing games like we were getting caught, like there was there was a there was a decent amount of motivated riders still in the peloton that would have. Would have real real routers back in so um yeah it was it was the right decision to continue pulling uh as much as i could i felt like i wasn't pulling at all but uh, i was obviously still working hard to help us stay away like 45k an hour so yeah we definitely picked up uh, and this was this was me and uh, a couple of other riders keep the speed high and 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 hold the hold off the guys behind and have pulled anymore uh but like i say if i if i sat in more then probably wouldn't have stayed away so um i can't complain about that um and maybe maybe i could have dug in more for that sprint i don't know uh but yeah i tried i tried hard. i know i tried hard on the day so i uh, can't really complain like what's this last 30 second power 30 second at 700 so like i'm not i'd, I'd struggle to do much more than that at the at the end of a race really looking at like maybe 900 is my outright max but i was already i'd already been on the limit for uh for close to 10 minutes so it's not surprising that uh, I wasn't able to pull anything special out of the bag, but yeah, decent race at the end of the day.